everything and Job chapter 26 verse 6 Zechariah chapter 4 verse 10 and Job chapter 26 verse 6 for who are despised the day of small things for they shall rejoice and shall see the promise in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven they are the seven with those seven they are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth the seven is the eyes of the Lord the seven eyes of the Lord that run to and fro throughout the whole earth Job 26 verse 6 hell is naked before him and destruction at no covering hell is naked before God and destruction at no covering also before God in continuation of last Sunday's message that says God's divine mirror we'll be talking on the first two James the Apostle reveals the word of the Lord as God's divine mirror that where we can assess our spiritual reality our spiritual standing and our positioning in the scheme of grace and when we get to that mirror we will see our real self our values our standard and how God sees us exactly because we're told that let him that think it is standard take heed lest he falls now prophet Zechariah made it clearer that God has seven eyes and that seven eyes of the Lord runs through and through throughout the whole earth seeing whatever that is done in open and in secret and Job said even hell hell is naked before God even destruction have no place to cover that God will not see them so that is to say there's no hiding place from this mirror of the word of God and David said that the spirit of God in man is the candle of the Lord searching the inward part of man therefore seven eyes of the Lord Lord God or is his mirror to see all nations all tribes all men and women in the spirit of the geographical divide or distance he is seeing and watching and recording all our lives activities actions in actions thoughts motive desires and aspiration and human innovation invention and all aspiration they are all in this book of record both in thoughts in words and in actions whether it be good or evil his book will soon be open where all our secrets shall be made known 
shall be revealed. Whether we like it or not, we may not like to anybody to see and know our secret. We have so many secrets that we nobody want to know or allow anybody to know. But on this particular day, every secret thought will be exposed. Every secret immorality, fornication, adultery, masturbation, all will be revealed in Romans chapter 2, verse 6. Romans chapter 2, verse 6. In that day, when God shall judge the secrets of men, in that day, when all secrets of men shall be revealed, whether it be good or bad, those who are living for God, Believing God, trusting God, serving the Lord, and doing the will of God. But to, to some people, they don't know that such brothers and sisters are working so hard to please the Lord. On that day, the Lord shall reveal and bring to judgment every secret of men. Whether they are white or black. Whether they are educated or illiterate. Whether they are in Africa or in Europe or in Asia or in America or in any other part of the world. Every secret of name. Those who join secret courts. Those who enter masturbation. Those who enter Yahoo. Those who enter stealing. Those who enter fornication. Those who enter adoption. Those who are lying. Those who are even in the church. That day, the day of the Lord, every secret of men shall be revealed according to the gospel. The gospel says so. In Revelation chapter 20, that we are told in Revelation chapter 20 that day the mirror of God shall be made bare everything shall be seen by all whether now you are hiding it for your husband that day your husband will discover it you are hiding it for your wife your wife will see that day you are hiding it from the church the church will see that day you are hiding it for your children your children will know everything you are hiding it for your parents your parents also will know everything. Somebody who just came here last time and said, Pastor, after your message, after your teaching, I discovered you are talking to me. This girl, and that's my daughter. And the person I see it is the father, is not the father. I was friending two men at the same time. And I know the one that pregnanted me, but the man that pregnant did not have money. I didn't like him. I swapped the child and say to the other man, you're responsible. And the man said, okay. Now this girl be a baby of that man, but it's not the end of the pregnancy. What do I do now? We are talking about restitution. Talking about open every secret. What do I do? I said, you better go and make your way right or else you end up in hell. Because every secret thing that people thought or did here, whether people know it or not, God is away. It's before God to that mirror. His eyes run to and fro. He has seven eyes. You have only two. I have only two. Then with our two, we can be able to convince on certain things. But now what of it that has seven eyes that run to and fro the whole world? Won't you see when you are telling line business? Won't you see when you are talking to that kissing partner called boyfriend, girlfriend? Won't you see when you cheat on your husband and cheat on your wife? Won't you see when you are giving bribe and taking bribe with the seven eyes? The mirror of the Lord won't you see when you are doing all those atrocities and come to church and cover up? Won't you see when you profess holiness that you are living on holy life? When you confess consecration, but you are not consecrated. When you talk about the evangelism, you are not evangelizing. When you walk holy and holy and sanctimonious, but you are carnal. You are carnal. You are lovely. You are hypocrite. You cover up. But here, you come here and hide. I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a general of a wife. I'm a planning council why? But you are a native doctor. You are, you, are, you, are, you are not an native doctor. And you do those things to receive the gospel. And you are here saying, they don't know what I do. They don't know where I go. They don't know the way I live. If you don't know the seven eyes of the Lord. Who know that you are a perpetual doctor? Not just a doctor. A wicked doctor. You borrow here. You borrow there. You borrow there. For the problem. And they trusted you because you dress like us. You talk like us. You behave like us. And they live you money. As I'm going to bring in so, 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 so time. I nearly got the money. Sometimes you will leave the central church. 
and join other branches of the church. And they're looking for you and bring something for you. But nobody sees you and says, Sister, so, 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 borrowed money to me. Whenever I come to church, the way you look me, the way you look at me, when do we get go? After all, Nigeria, oh, I've got some people. Am I the only person? Oh, so the way you're looking at me, I, I, I decide to join the other branch. Oh, yeah, you can join the other branch, but when you get to hellfire, we were to relocate. When you go into hell, because you have kept your Bible, say, Oh, no, man, what? Anything but what? But no. In fact, the Bible says, You shall learn. You know, do not borrow. So if you are here and hiding and hiding, when you shall, even when you are borrowing your money, you know you have no money to pay. You just promise them next week. You know you don't, cannot pay it next week. Say, next week. For them to give you money, at the end of the day, you have lied to them. Yes. He said, Don't tell Pastor, I borrow money from you. Don't take G.O. I know he doesn't fancy borrowing, but, uh, uh, but what, what I do? Uh, uh, I'm in the house of faith, and you come here, and you say, you better know, look at what the Bible says. That said, they're coming. All your thoughts shall be revealed. All your secrets shall be revealed. You, I want to be a pastor for money, not for heaven. I want to be a evangelist for money. I want to be a bishop, not for heaven, for money. I want to be one of the elders because of uh, I want to be eating what they are eating. Oh, yes. Not what they are laboring, what they are eating. And that is why you open your church. You break away and start somewhere when you want little grace you have here just expire because you are no longer committed to heaven. You move for that thing to employ. You employ water, you employ candle, you employ handkerchief, you employ olive oil, you employ the anointing oil, you employ, uh, you know, one thing or the other, them, them, San, Koboko, and all these things that they are, they are failing you, and you know you are dry. Because God did not call you. Neither did God ask you to start your but you want to start business in the name of the Lord. But God will show you all this secret agenda. Revelation chapter 20, from 11 to 15, it says, And I saw a great white tree. And he that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no more place or no place for them. And I saw, and I saw a boy small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the page. Was judged out of those things which were written in the books, meaning everything, even when you are when you are dead or when you die, that you have found here on earth is recorded in the book. All the fornication, all the kissing, all the hugging. All the emo, emo, what we call oral sex, internet sex, internet kissing, all those things shall be open. All those lies you told in the pupils in the name of testimony. All those lies you give, what you give, you tell when you are preaching and say, I raised the dead, and when you didn't raise any dead, all shall be open. When those lies you are telling to your husband, to your wife, to your parents, they will be open. All the evil, evil work. This booth contains every name, every works, every activity. And also, there's only one book was open, which is the book of life. This book contains those whose names are written by the blood of the Lamb. But the world claims from the sin. You have confused the sin, you have been concerned with the enemies, you have done restitution, and they are not living in holiness and righteousness, and living the life of my master soon come. I don't know if it's going to come in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Please don't stain my holy garment, my righteous garment, and they are living like that. If this name will stain it, no, take it. If it's money, take it. If it's position, take it. If it's power, take it. If it's fame, take it. If it's car, houses, take it. Take it if it's marriage, take it. Whatever I will send me and make you not to go to heaven, take it away from me and make me go to heaven. They are the people whose names are in this book. And the Bible says, Everyone that was found not in this book, the Bible says, uh, they, This book will be open and they will judge according to what is written in this book, but according to the works. And there's 
and the sea of Manjahed, Oloku, Aramela, King of the Coast, and all the people that are deceiving you. children as also as an individual the Lord will judge me according to the same way God will judge you because you are seeing sinners in the round and you are judging them but don't you know it is personal God will judge you according to what you have done and verse 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire and death into the lake of fire and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. That means the difference between hell and lake of fire. Everyone that died today will branch hell. Hell means Gehenna means grave. Just as Jesus went to grave, amen. He went to hell. But at the final judgment day, those that could not make it to heaven, those that were rejected, those that are defied, those that contaminated their lives, those that could not maintain their relationship with God, those that their names were removed from the book of life, maybe before your name was said before, because of fornication, because of adultery, because of money, because of business, because of pride, because of popularity, because of position in the church, and there is insight in the church, there is rebellion in the church, sensation in the church. People break away anyhow and tell some lies and people follow you and nobody knows but God knows. On that day, because your name was missing, the Bible said, and you die in sin, sin, death. The Bible said, do that die and do that have come to hell. Hell will vomit them, death will vomit them, and they will be cast into the lake of what? Fire. This is the second death. Second death is not for everybody. Second death is not for everybody. Second death is for only those who die in sin. They will die again. But those who die in Christ, who die holy, righteous, faithful, they will never die again. Revelation 19 says, Blessed are they that take part in the first revelation. For second death have no what? Have no power over them any law. May you be among the number. May I be among the number. This second death will not come with us. Now we say it, but this is the second death. Why is this second? The first death is appointed for all. The Hebrew name to himself is appointed unto all men. What should we do? After death comes what? So the death, first death is for everyone. The sin of Adam. But for the second one, it's not for everybody. It's for the rebellious. For the church world who refuse to be born again. For the religious one who refuse Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Though they are very pious, very religious, they can sacrifice everything in the world for their religion. But their needs are not in the book of life. They can even become reverend father, reverend brother, reverend sister. They can even say, I want to be a pastor, I will not marry, I will not because I have even covered my, my paws. Yet, they are not born again. They will never make it. Because 
all about Christianity, all about religion, have been comprehended in Christ, and Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you makes you to be a child of God. If Christ is not there, you are just pursuing shadow, which Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and New Lord, and so many of them couldn't achieve in their time. You want to achieve it? No, salvation is only in the name. Salvation is only in the name. But we say there's no other name under heaven given among God and no name as chapter 4 verse 12. Whereby we might be saved only in one name. Therefore, if you reject the name Jesus, you reject salvation. You reject the name Jesus, you reject the eternal life. You reject the name Jesus Christ, the one that was born in the manger, that was killed and crucified for our soul and resurrected at the top. If you call him all kind of name and despise him and insult him now, you will meet him as the king of kings on the throne. But then you are going to be very, very afraid. You are going to be very, very afraid because going to, you're going to be you, 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 just like what happened one Saturday. Morning. There was somewhere I used to be when I was in business. And that man, um, the son of the, the landlord, was doing so many things. And I saw he was giving bribe. When Nepal went to cut life, he would take some money and give bribe and collect it from us. I said to him, sir, I'm a child of God. Don't give bribe. He said, eh? You don't give bribe. I said, it's okay, no problem. He no longer asked me for the bribe. Eventually, when the father died, and the first person is gave quick notice, praise the name of the Lord. I said, sir, what is it? He said, no, I don't want you to have a kid. My shop. I went to her younger sister, who said, nurse. I said, look at what your brother is. Ah, you're a good person. You're a good sir. Ah, no, my brother, let me, let me talk to him. He went to his brother and said to his brother, this man, you know the man truck. Oh. He said, he said, you know the good bride. So I don't want such people in my house. Then the lady came and said, ah, he said to me that you no know, problem, but you say you'll be Christian, you know the good bride. I said, he said, I can you start giving bride? And I said, no. So, okay, you are going to quit. I left the place. After more than 10 years, what about? One day I saw that mess. He had some problem. And people directed the officials to me. And when she came, she learned she was in the, in the waiting list. When they reached her turn, they opened the door for her. He saw me sitting in the seat. Look at me. Now you, now you, now you, is that person that you rejected in the shop because they won't give bribe? If that person you ask, will you be giving bribe now? She was comforted. How she wished that the land will open, she will enter. That is how so many of you are rejecting Jesus now. This person is a spirit because you are governor, you are president of your country. You are a senator. You have forgotten that the person that made you made you from the water, I mean, from liquid. Now you become one, somebody to be respected. Now you are not calling Jesus the owner of your life or bad, bad names. You are despising him because of fornication, because of adultery. You are saying, I will leave this church and have another church. Yes, a day is coming. When you close your eye in death, the person you are going to see on the throne is the same Jesus. Who says he's the son of Capitan? Who you say they came before we took him, we come again, we took him second time. When you see him on the throne, oh, you will not only be afraid, but you cannot, you can't, no more second chance. So why not now amend your way and accept him? If not, this divine mirror will find you out. We're not told in verse 20, and whosoever, pastor, reverend, bishop, apostle, Evangelist, primates, proof, cardinal, general overseer, general superintendent, founder and president, sister so so so, brother so so so, mama so so so, papa so so, whosoever, apostle so so so, whosoever, coordinator so so so, whosoever, council so so so, whosoever, that was not found written in the book of life. That one book was cast into the name of fire and whosoever. Sister, is your name there in this book of life? Pastor,
your children is your name there coordinator of children is your name there planning council children oh yes bishop so 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 at bishop so so is the name of your children there whosoever you mean can only enter there by accepting Jesus as a Lord and Savior. Confess all your sin and genuinely turn away and accept His grace for your life. For your sin to be forgiven and your name written there is just free of charge. Only by the blood of Christ, your faith in Him, if thou shalt believe in your heart, shall be counted for righteousness. If you should confess with your mouth that the Lord, Father, has risen, then thou shalt be saved. That's simple. Don't need to bribe anybody, don't need to pay any money, don't need to make any sacrifice, nor build an altar, nor buy anything. It's free of charge. Then, if that is done, then your name will enter into the book of life. Now, let's see. There are people who think that they are too smart. They claim that they know God, but they don't honor Him. They baptize Him with Christian name, but their names are not in the book of life. They claim to be apostles, so claim to be reverend, bishop, cardinal. Others claim, I am a Lord preacher. They recognize you, they fear you, they obey you, they do whatever you ask them to do. If you tell them, I want to buy two J, they will bring the money. Want to buy a castle that they will bring the money. Want to be in the university, they bring the money. But they trusted you, but never trust in Jesus. Such people look at how Paul spoke concerning them in the Roman church. Roman chapter 1, Roman chapter 1 from 18. For the wrath of God is revealed, the anger of God, the judgment of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth. What? In unrighteousness, they hold the truth. They use Jesus the truth to make money. They use the name Jesus the truth to be popular. Government preacher, government bishop, government pastor, government, you know, you know they, they preach for government, not for heaven. And there, they use the name of the Lord in unrighteousness. They use the word of the Lord in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Yes, when they started newly, they were born again. Many of them were filled with the Holy Ghost and empowered to fill the Holy Ghost. But now, the things that ought to know in God is made manifest in them, for God has shown it unto them. But now they are basilian. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even with a power. And God has so that they are without what? Excuse, brother, you have no excuse. It's my reverend that deceived me, it's my pastor that deceived me, it's my bishop that deceived me, it's my poor. No, you have no excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorify Him not as God. They do not honor Him, they do not obey Him as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. These people know Him before, but now they have gone far. Verse 22 Professing themselves to be wise, they became what? Fools. How do we know them? Everything about them is about vanity. The man will say, only the food that says there's no work, there's no God. That's how the Bible see them. They are preachers. They read the Bible. They raise the dead. They hear the sick. And they do all these things. But they themselves are fools. How do you know them? Last time, a few years ago, it's right during this revelation cassette that we are, a few years ago, a prominent preacher in Nigeria, well known, not only in Nigeria, Africa, and some part of the world that when they hold a crusade in any city, the surrounding villages and towns together, anywhere you go in the town, in Benin, anywhere, Lagos, Abuja, anywhere, any part of the country, outside the country, when he throw his suit, people will follow people, people, people. When he raise hand, healing will take him place. A lot of people were doing great things for God, but he said it by himself that he eventually got ill and died. As for getting up there, he was returning as an overcomer, as a victor. As he came to the pearly gate, they couldn't allow him to enter. He said, ah, 
don't you know me? I am Reverend Doctor So 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 So. I am a miracle worker. So So So. I raised the dead in my ministry. This only one that God. I got many souls for the kingdom. The angel said, "Your name is never mentioned here." That Reverend Doctor So is not here. That bishop is not here. That apostle is not here. The people they are known as the people that worship the Lord, they are the saints. So, uh, uh, don't you know? Uh, check your record. I am a Buddha side the kingdom. <laughs> and they said, no, we didn't see you here. This name you are coming is not heavenly. For you to know that the mirror of God was watching him, was recording him, they ask him. Now let me ask you a question. That work you say you are doing the work for God. How about you used to tell the people the organizing crusades when they invite you to pay your account before coming? What number of crowds do you pay them your spaces for them to advertise in village and, and television before you can come for crusade? He was comforted that all you have been doing here was recorded. See, you are not doing that work for God. You are doing it for what? For yourself. All that you did here, raise the dead, heal the sick, did all the wonders, is not recommended for you. You serve your belly. He said the Lord told him, go to your country, Nigeria. There are two ministers I remember, or three, two I could remember. Go and ask them and wash them and ask them, this is how to do the work of God. The people do my work. Ministers in Nigeria. But while he was here, the whole was celebrating everybody. But in heaven, his name was not there. So there's nothing we are doing now that's not on record. Everything. I told you last time that a boy and a girl in one of the states of the country just locked themselves up in a particular room and speaking in tongues and praising God and worshipping and they were worshipping and singing the pastor guy said oh, these people are on top of the mountain they are having nice time with the Lord the way they were worshipping God singing and speaking in tongues on moved to the passerby. They went to defeat the passerby that they were praying and worshiping. They don't know they were on top of each other in immorality and fornication. And they were doing that and doing that. All of a sudden, the people no longer hear their voices. And the person, neighbors, neighbors, uh, what are people doing here? I don't know how they're playing the game. And they were knocking on, knocking on, knocking on the door. Nobody responded. They forced the door open. Discover that the Holy Spirit they are speaking in his tongue and God who they are calling on top of fornication have come to do what? Two of them there. You cannot hide it from God. I told you this one happened in the northern start, south of the country. That a part, it was in Abuja, I forgot you, that a particular lady dressed nude, half naked. I was walking psychologically, proudly and lustfully and seductively. One of the men of God that saw him, one of the God told him, and said, Sister, young lady, why do you dress like this in the public? She told in her arrogance and told the man of God, Go and take God. Go and what? Go and take God. As he was walking psychologically and probably for her, making that, that unknown to her, uncommon vehicle came and crushed her there. He said, Go and take God. Because the sentence against evil works seems to be delayed now. That's why sinners continue. Liars continue. Immoral continue. Those who cheat because of the continue. Now, from what I read, Bible says in verse 23, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image, make like, like to corruptible man, and to bears and forfeited beasts and given things. We are for God also give them all to uncleanness through the loss of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who change the true God into a lie and worship 
and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them unto vile, wicked, seductive, unclean affection. For even their women did change the natural news into that which is against nature. And likewise also, the men living the natural use of the women, born in their laws, one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that the compense of their error, which was what means. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to what? A condemned man, a perfect man, dead conscience, to do those things which are not what? Approved, not convenient, not holy and spiritual, not um, natural. And now, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boast, boasters, inventors of evil things. They manufacture evil things. Even if Naira, that they are just changed now, I'm hearing rumor that the counterfeit is already here. Is it true? Did you hear what I hear? They never, they, we never see the money, but they have counterfeited it. Inventors of law, everything you're talking about, before you just put it in the market, the counterfeit have come. Now, how they were inspired to do all these things? Bible says, and um, disobedient to whom? Parents, do you see this happening in your family? Eh? Eh? I'm asking you, I'm asking you, those days when my parents were, were talking to us, we were afraid. When they raise hand, we run. Are they? Are they? When we run, they begin to, they begin to go like that. Now, you talk one, you're picking the top 20. You want this hand, you don't tell me to can do. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So, what are we saying? This place talk about this Jamaican, the Muslim Jamaican, here. A girl told me that if you see me, it does not have a problem. But if you see her fellow girls, she lost after them. That is what they, they're giving them vile affection. Some men are like that. Big men, educated men, even religious circle, they are gay. And today, you will, you will agree with me, this present government in America, after it was sworn in, I saw in the social media or the news, that one of the persons that were appointed uh, was saying, I want to introduce my husband. A man was saying, I want to introduce what? His fellow man as what? As a husband. Approved by the government. Now, what are we saying? If it is so, what are we saying now? And that was why the late um, Namibian president said to one of them, African uh, president president in America said, if you approve gay, and you're coming to Africa to tell us to approve gay in our marriage, amen? Oh, yeah. Come, let me be your husband. Come, let me be what? And the man didn't come. Who are you deceiving? You're destroying the souls of people and telling them again their maker and their creator and against nature. And yet, you go about on Sunday, you go to church. You pray tight and give offering and sing and go for thanksgiving for the political in our, our sources. Now we are told for such people, verse 20, 32, we are told um, verse um, 31, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful, who made the judgment of God that they which commit such things are what? Are worthy of death. Even though when the law of your country exempts you, when the law of your country gives you immunity that you never be taught because the law of your country approve, approve homosexuality, lesbianism, and gay. If our things are changing, I was reading Guardian a few days ago. 
a woman was telling some were complaining to a particular uh, counselor and said, Could you be that her daughter is now becoming sexually uh, active at the age of seven? That is saw the girl doing masturbation. Masturbation, and uh, you don't know what to tell you. He said, he said, I told my daughter, when you want to do it, don't do it outside, do it in your bedroom. That's the counsel of a mother to who? To seven years, uh, yeah, to do masturbation, masturbation where? In the room, not in the outside. You see the world, like mother, like daughter, like father, like what? If the woman knows that this abomination, she will talk that girl into cancer and leaving that from the but not giving her what they call soft landing. Seven years. And those days, some of us who we know, I know some brothers who married at the age of 30 something. After their wedding, they didn't know what to do next. They were asking me, what do I do? But now, two years, three years, five years. I tell you everything about sexual immorality and relationship. Because of even not even education, the enemy is me, me. So not to do this thing. That woman that can't see the daughter where to be doing masturbation in the room, not in the outside, so that will not be disgraced. Now, both that woman and her daughter are the same. Now we say, not they that do such thing, amen. But they that have what pleasure in them that are do it. You don't fornicate, encourage it. You don't still encourage it. You don't do it that way, encourage it. You don't dance what you dance, you don't do You say, we are sure you encourage it. So you are, and they that are interested and encouraging, you are going to Why? You say, not they that do such thing, but only, but they that have what? Pleasure in them that do such thing. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So because of time, look at what we say here. Seeing of all kind is noticed, recorded, and by the unseen eyes of the Lord. And that is exactly what happened. And also, when it produces, it will give birth to separation between you and your creator. Just like what happened to Samson. In Samson, in Judges chapter 16, 18 to 21, when Delilah was pressuring Samson, pressuring Samson, if Samson remembered that he was a promised child, obeyed a Nazarite from the womb, also giving special assignment from God, and he have a covenant child, if I remember that, you would have said to Delilah, to hell with your love, to hell with your passion, to hell with your affection, to hell. Take it and give me my consecration. Take it and give me my ministry. Take it, but you didn't. In verse 22, 18 to 21, Judges 16, 18 to 21. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all is hard, she sent and called for the Lord of Philistines, saying, Come of this time, or this once, for he has showed me all his heart. Then the Lord of Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hands, and she made him sleep. If God did drug something to sleep. He draws Samson to sleep. She is the one who makes Samson to sleep. Samson did not want to sleep, but he makes Samson to sleep. And when she draws Samson, he puts Samson on her knees, on her knees. And she called for a man. And she caused him to be shaved off the seven locks of his hair. And she began to afflict. And this afflicts him. And his strength did what? Run from him. And she said, The Philistine be upon the sunset. He awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out, out as other times before and check myself. And he was not that the Lord departed from what? From him. The other day at Gaza, Samson entered Halot's house. And slain the harlot. After defying herself, I mean, he said, and he heard that the Philistines were gathered around him and from the uh, Gaza. And the Bible says, the power came upon him, he carried 
the gate of the city on his shoulder. And when the first gate is walking, everybody on the run. Even though he has committed immorality. Because the company was on his head and not on his heart. He was able to do that. Some of us are buying time thinking that it doesn't matter. It matters. Now, you have taken it for granted. No, no. After sleeping with Delilah, and Delilah met her, him to, you know, and also shave his head. After shaving his head and gave him uh, deeper and deeper, you know, whether it's alcohol or whatever, he was in deep sleep. After shaving his head, he started beating, beating him and said, Ah, man of God, pastor, referee, bishop, my daddy, the enemy come, enemy, enemy. And Bible said, you come, my holy, my sweetheart, my sweetheart. And Sansin woke out of sleep. He shook himself as other time. He didn't know that the Lord had left him. He was still checking. Many pastors are checking on the altar, preaching. Morning cry. Repent, Jesus is come. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. We don't, I'm not sure. Tomorrow, we don't. Repent, repent. And you are saying, we are not sure. Again. Have, not, have you not seen where two people preaching the morning cry that they're fighting the market? Dragging, why can't this side? This is on my side, this is on the other side, this is on my side. Have you not seen you preaching the buses? When another person enters bus, another person enters bus, and this one says, I want to preach, one says, they start dragging bus. Not because of heaven, because of offering. Have you not seen the market where they are doing market for the shoes? A pastor come and say, bring your water, bring this one, and they will say, bring your anointing oil. And say, when did the Lord tell you that an ami got there? And they are dragging. Because they want to come out of it. But for sensing, he checked himself, he said, he didn't know. But the relationship between and God has been taken away. You sing in the choir, but you're no longer connected. You do the work of moderation. So the school teacher, you're no longer connected. You pay your tithe and offering and sing in the band, you're no longer connected. You are here, you shake yourself as a pastor, you preach in what your corner, they respect you in their corner. They, they say, but this sister, she's trying. I love her. I love her way to do things. I love this brother, very zealous, committed. But anger, anger and bitterness and unforgiveness have reduced you to nobody. So many of us here didn't know that the devil knew and God knew. A woman used to give problem to the kingdom of darkness in her prayer closes. And her Christian life has come to the level that Satan has have respect for her. That even a gentle that have respect for her. She gone to that ladder. And one day the man called Omoba Jesu, who later uh, was an uh, uh, agent of that. Let's say he was even holding a meeting with Lucifer. And uh, went to their meeting and said, There's a particular lady that is disturbing them. They have tried all they could to harm her, to destroy her, and they, they couldn't near her. They couldn't do. And Lucifer said, That woman you see, she is in the last ladder of Christianity. Where? That means Christianity have what? Ladder. Says you cannot touch her, you cannot do her anything. She's covered. And the man said, He said to this one, They say everything is possible, everything is wrong. And he was facing this one, said, If you want to get her, go around her vicinity, get close to her. If you be doing something that will make her to be angry, as long as she became angry, she will be coming down from that ladder. Down. As he commit to be angry, by the faith you reach, she will come down to the level where you can harm her, where you can touch her. And this man left and went to the compound of this man and saw her little child playing. And the little child beat her, Baba, and you greet him in the west. The man turned and started beating the child. As he was beating the child, the child was crying, crying. The mother had a cry as she came out from the house. I said, Baba, please, Baba, Baba, sorry, sorry, Baba, Baba, sorry. 
A woman was there. Said to me, what? Don't take her. Don't, so don't take him. I was here. Your son just greeted him. He's still beating your son. He said, we can't man. Don't take him. To provoke that woman because your network. And the woman was in God's zone. You know what the woman said? No, no, no. Madam, they don't use fire to quench fire. Even though he didn't do anything, he was good. My Baba was not picking. Baba, sorry. That was what led that man to surrender his relationship with Lucifer and surrender to Christ and became a evangelist. Wherever he goes, he gives his testimony how he became a Christian. But that sister, he couldn't bring her down from where? From the ladder. How many of the professor for church go be angry at this? All their body go to church. How many they teach from the school? How many they, you know, they do choir? You know, they, when they are angry with their husband, the two days they never settle, three days they never settle. And you will be coming down. What about the brothers who will tell their wife, now here I want to make you sit down. Now here I want, if you don't sit down here, I, I must, God give me, now give me your head. Ah, uh, if the woman say, wait till I do, you begin to be angry. After you go to prayer warrior, intercessor, as I go to evangelism, brother, the devil is bringing you down. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So, because of time, Samson, completely what is connected from God, his power left, everything left. His eyes was removed, he became a, a puppet. This, he was still answering Samson. That name connotes anointing, connotes covenant. So, he has still answering brother, so, 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 she says, so, but. They are no longer for God. What of David, who committed adultery with Uriah's wife and started covering it in 2 Samuel chapter 12, 1 to 13. As he covered and covered and covered and covered, he never knew that God was showing him. He never knew that God was washing him until he succeeded in killing Uriah and took over the favor to marry in the presence of all these realized he was a good man. Telling, oh, hey, our king is a good man. He decided to marry a widow. Oh, he wanted to help the man that died so that woman will not suffer. The never know he was covering pregnancy. The never know he was covering. Say, uh, King, may you live forever. You're a good man. You decide to marry a uh, uh, real wife, a uh, young widow. So because he's a gallant soldier, he paid the supreme price in the war. Oh, he wanted to comfort the woman. But God, eyes was watching. When they succeeded and took the woman home, God sent Nathan to say to him, Man, all your covering sins is not covered from God. After telling the story about a visitor that came to a particular worthy man, and this worthy man had all the tests to entertain this, but there was one poor man, like just one little lamb that he took as a child, as a, you know, a pet, and this man went to the poor man, took just one that to offer and kill to entertain the stranger. And David said, in this kingdom where I reign in righteousness, in this kingdom where I preach holiness and action, in this kingdom where I'm ruling the fear of the Lord, in this kingdom, a man like me, in, in ruling a man after God's heart, in this kingdom, the man that we so must die. And not only I'm going to return for food. And Nathan says, Sir, Your Majesty, you are the one. David chucked. He said, I give you your master's throne, Saul. I give you your master's wife. I give you many women as you desire. Only the wife of Uriah, only, who was fighting the battle. You did not only sleep with her, pregnant her, and kill the husband. Now you took her to your tomorrow to cover from the people. You can't cover it from God. My eyes is watching. All that bushels can never be covered. All that bushels can never be covered. Whether it be one or two, all can never be covered. Because you must see it. All the boyfriend, girlfriend, you say, leave nobody here. And when you're answering for it, you just move from your hand. Hello, 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 uncle, uncle, uncle. And when you get you say, uncle. Who is that? Is Uncle Uncle Peter? They never know that is your same partner. Even some married women are having social media boyfriend. 
So married men are having social media work and they talk and discuss dirty things when they are wife uh, who they talk to. Uh, you know that that's uh, mama from where we they live for the same. They say they this you see you see the sick. Oh mama boy. boy. The sick. The sins we find you out. Numbers 22 verse 23. So if you want to so be sure you are sin against the Lord, your sin will find you out. So we are told that sin is what this time that David cried out in Psalm 11. So, Psalm 139, verse 1 to 3. Say, where will I go that God will not be what? You see me. Where will I hide? If I say, let me run, fly like me, go to, to the heavens, you see me. Let me go to the deepest place for me. Let me hide in darkness, you see me. No way that I will hide that God is not there. He knows my sitting down. He knows my standing up. He knows everything. That means, he's washing my heart. Washing my thought because of time, brethren. You know the case of Solomon in Second Psalm, uh, Samuel, Second Solomon. If you read in mean, First Kings 11 1 to 3, Bible says, And Solomon loved many Atlantic what women and strange when they become what strange, strange women who the Lord said he should not marry. This law had been written. In the days of Moses, even after Moses, and the days of the judges, other days of the before kings, Solomon came and mutilated this law and went to marry not only marry 700 wives, he uh, 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 added 300 to the 1,000. Yes, among this, he brought all the daughters of, of uh, different nations with their idols and, uh, and built shrines and temples for them and practically worship with them the day of their sacrifice. You provide all the sacrifice for them, you go there and worship them, and Bible says, by you so Solomon. That's needed from what the Lord has commissioned his father. Because of David, Solomon was there. If Solomon will be in heaven, because I've been hearing, I went to heaven, I see David, I went to heaven, I see uh, Elijah, I've never seen him, but say, I saw Solomon. But he will be there because of David. Because of who? Because of who? But who has married even 100 wives and succeed? How much more? 10, 12, 15, and see the holy. But somebody married 1,000. How can he be holy? Not only that they married, they married their idols, married their shrine, and he became the in-law of the Ashraf, in-law of Ba, in-law of the father and uh, son-in-law of the, all those idols. And that is why he couldn't maintain his relationship with God. What I say here, Ananias, what of Gehazi? Gehazi in 2 Kings chapter 5. Let's read that place, it's important. Chapter 5, look at what Gehazi did here that made me to say the eye of the Lord is a mirror. It's, it's watching. There's nowhere to hide. No fear, no fear, no fear. In um, Second Kings, let's see about Gehazi. Look at what Gehazi did and said. Nobody saw me. Nobody knew everything. And I'm reading verse 20 to 27. Second Kings 5, 20 to 27. And he said, and but Gehazi, or Gehazi, but Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Behold, my master has feared no man. This Syrian, in not receiving at his hand that which he brought, but as the Lord liveth, I will run after him and take something of him. So Gehazi, from note after Meman. And when Meman saw him running after him, he lighted down from the shadows to meet him and said, Is it all well? Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master. That's why he felt it. If he said, My master, you may receive some peace. I am his servant. Can you give me some? It would have been better. I said, My master. Has sent me. Then he said, G O C. My G O C. When I didn't say anything. My G O preach. When I didn't preach anything. You want to seduce someone? Want to tell someone that? Want to say G O C? No. He 
this is my master has sent me. Saying, Behold, even now they have become to me from Mount Ephraim. Two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray thee, a talent of silver and two chains of garments. And my man said, Be, can, be content. Take two talents and be also and burn two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and make them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him and when he came to the tower I mean, when he came to the tower he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed but he went in master he went in and stood before his master and Elisha said unto him, When commend thou Gehazi? Where have you been, Gehazi? Where are you coming from? What did he say? And he said, That the servant went not nowhere. Have been here now? I'm a faithful prophet. I am a prophet's prophet. Master, I, I, have you got it? Oh, don't you see anywhere? I'll never go any place. I've been waiting on you here, a waiter. I've been here, uh, uh, Master. I've been here waiting for you. I didn't go anywhere. Let's hear what the Holy Ghost said by the mouth of Elijah. And he said to him, in verse 26, and he said unto him, Wait not what? My heart. And he said, The eyes of the Lord. Wait not my heart with thee. When the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee, is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and olive yards and vineyards and sheep and horses and men servants and men servants? The leprosy. The leprosy, therefore, of the man which was buried in the where Jordan shall swim now, shall swim back, shall cleave unto thee. And unto thy seed, Father. Not only years now, his own descendant, his own generation. And he went out from his presence, what? A leper with white, a leper as white as what? As snow. Elisha, where are you running to? I'm not a leper. I can no longer stand before the man of God. Elisha, where are you running to? I cannot run to permit it again. No prayer, no evangelism. I cannot be in the church because I'm a leper. And that's why many lepers have left the church. Where are they running to? They're looking for where to hide. Some of uh, that's near by church. A man, lady, evangelist. But what? Uh, if I don't know my word, even though I have to rise, but this just say it doesn't mean I'm not there. And so that's why I'm not coming home here. Yeah, I love the preaching, but I can't stand too much holiness, too much righteousness, too much preaching. Too much, and I want to move for another branch. I'm not leaving the church. Another branch. Why? Pastor, uh, Gio, every time preaching is disturbing me. I want to well, be cool, 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 cool. And that was why Elisha, Elisha received mantle from who? Elijah. Who is supposed to hand it over to? Gehazi. But now Gehazi have not the world. Not not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the fire is not to him. For all that is in the world, the loss of the eyes, the loss of the uh, uh, of the flesh, and the pride of life is not of the father, it's of the world. And the world passes away, and all the lost world, they are but they that do the will of God shall do what? Shall live everlasting. So I don't know about you. Are you the, I mean like Gehazi in the church? No person is now you. And that was why the man you supposed to receive to continue from a larger stop could not be given to you. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. What of Ananias and Sephira in Acts chapter 5? Who told their property? Who sold their, their, their landed property and uh, uh, brought the part of the money? If they brought it to the Lord before Peter and said, Ah, they're not the Jesse, the son of Cosmo. He sold his own God. But now I have some family issue to attend to. So we have sold it and divided it into two. We are giving this part to the Lord. Who 
Oh, you have received blessing, not that. But he sold it and told lie, command and said, Go and tell GO and make him donation. Go and tell GO and pay my tithes for two years now. Go and tell GO that I will support the work of what is the problem the church I want to solve. Eventually, he came like an innocent sufferer and took to some certain little lie to get patronage and get recognition and get praise of men. But in heaven, you know you're a liar. You're a deceit. You're a hypocrite. And that is why, if you have such high desire to be like Jesus this year, to be more holy like him, then you must break away from that. And he brought it, and the Bible said, Peter asked him, Brother Aminias, Ada Aminias, Evangel Aminias, you know, planning council Aminias, coordinator Aminias, you know, what, 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 what is it that man to say the lies? Ah, ah. I'm a pioneer. I'm one of the founders of the church. Are you doubting my consecration? Are you doubting my conversion? Are you doubting my integrity? My spiritual bringing? No. I, I, I am. We sold it. We are giving it all to the Lord. He gave us our life. He gave us. We give it to Him. All to Him. And He said, Oh, I'm in mean, When we sold the land, is it not your money? It is not to bring some parts. Nobody will get it. But why do you come to tell now? Again, the Holy Spirit. Aminias hearing that, he fell down there and died. Is it Peter that killed him? Is it Peter that killed him? Is it the church that killed him? Who killed him? Holy Ghost. Bible said, after space of three hours, the wife was taking in the refinery that time that said, pancake and mirror, and looking to mirror, and uh, they change the shoe and come back and change shoe. She already bought so many uh, materials with the money. Want to go showcase, want to showcase in the church. And she was coming. Three hours! But the husband is in the church. The wife is coming after three hours. How many sisters that made their husband to come to church late? How many sisters that made their husband not to come to Bible study? How many sisters that made their husband not to come to a meeting? How many sisters that made their husband not to go to the community? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I don't come. I don't come. I don't come. I'm waiting for you. The man said, look at thanks. I can't work it. And she came in, sarcastically calling, walking, talking her face. And as he was coming, he wanted to see people say, Ah, sister, praise the Lord. Oh, give all this thing. Ah, Peter called the coming and said, Sister, and then he asked, Is it so, so, so amount that the land, you sold the land that your husband brought the money? Ah, ah, you say, husband, the wife, no one. Whatever the husband says, I was say. You want to put, uh, 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 what, what God you want to the living of the world? Want to put a joint there? And Peter said, So you connect with your husband. Agree to husband to tell lies against the spirit of God. Behold the feet of them that bury your husband. They will also carry you and bury you along the husband so that both of you who will die as liars in the church. About the, as she was hearing that, she fell down and died. Who killed her too? I'm asking, who killed her too? And the Bible said, after that, great fear. Everybody said, great fear. Came upon the church. Nobody tell her anymore. Nobody deceive her anymore. You remember me, yes? You remember me, yes? You remember me, No gossip, you remember me, yes? No, no tell me, you remember me, yes? I don't want to die like me, yes? And great fear. And the Bible came. May God restore such fear in the church. I say, may God restore that fear in the church. I say, may God restore that fear in the church. And if God do so, the church will be holy. Because of time, let's summarize. I told you, why not pray like David? By saying, oh Lord, open my eyes to see my reason in this divine mirror of God. In Psalm 39, verse 4, David said, Lord, show me the number of years I'm going to stay in this world. And how many years I've stayed. And I, I, I will manage how many years I've stayed. So that I'll be able to know it one that what? That remain. So help me to now count number my days. What a prayer. 
brought me to Mama my, if I knew now that my day of staying this world remain four days. How, which kind of life will I live? If you know that your day that remain now is one month, how will you live your life? But because you say we have plenty of time, my grandmama day, my great grandmama day, for our life, for our family, a hundred plus now will they die. I just gave 50. Most of the prayer, Lord, make me to know my end and the nature of my days, what it is that I may know how to fly or how, you know, um, what you call dangerous or how um, this is why I am. That is, I will be very, very um, judiciously in, in, in spending them. How sudden, how far it is. So that's the prayer of a wise man. Now that the husband who dwindled his master and told lie and told that nobody saw until the Lord is supposed to say, my Elisha, Elisha said, will not my heart with you. Prophet Isaiah saw himself in the same mirror and he cried out and said, Lord, I am undone. I am undone, for I dwell in the midst of the people that are clean. Therefore, help me in Isaiah 6, 1 to 8. And the Lord sent angels to minister to him from the fire from the altar. In his mouth was touched and he was cleansed. And the Bible said, the Lord said, Now by the angel, now that the coal, the coal of fire, or the coal of fire, have touched your mouth and your lips, you have been sanctified. You have been purified. You have been delivered from the power of sin, from the power of uh, talk, uh, talkativeness, but biting, gossip, from people. You have been cleansed. And the Lord asked, Who will go for? Who shall we send? He said, I'm not ready. Send me. What of Joshua the high priest? In Zechariah chapter 3, 1 to 5, the Lord, the Bible says, And the Lord showed Zechariah the prophet. The Joshua, the high priest. Let's see, Zechariah chapter 3, from 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand, to do what? To resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked me. It's not this a brand block out of fire, just like I, like um, 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 Isaiah. A fire block out from the fire was used to sanctify and cleanse the mouth of Isaiah. And the Lord said, Now that this has, your sins are pushed, your liquid will be taken away. The same fire, brown out of the fire, was there to minister to Joshua. We are told now Joshua was coated with what? 50 common pastor. 50 garment high priest, 50 garment evangelist, 50 garment general of the 50 garment a preacher, 50 garment apostle and prophet, papa, mama, bishop, 50. But your garment is 50. With all the women you are defined in the altar, all the women you are defined in the street, all the men you are defined, with all those people that you go around with the defined garment, with small stars in your mouth, with a uh, heart in your, in your pocket, all those things you do. And John secret court for money, for power, for influence. The garment is defied. And now Joshua was clothed with a fitting garment and stood before the holy angel. And he answered and spoke unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the fitting garments. From him, before you pray, take away the fitting garment. Before you perform sacrifice, take away the fitting garment. Before you sing and worship, the fitting garment must be taken away. Of I said, you offer abominable sacrifice. In program chapter 15, it says, the sacrifice of the sinner is what? It's abomination unto the Lord. This man was offering on behalf of himself and his family and his brother with a fitting garment around him. And we are told he was charged. The people were around him and said, Take away the fitting garment from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have put thy iniquity to pass from thee. And I will quote thee with change of him. I will change your garment. I will change your life. I will transform your life. I will cleanse your life. I will make you pure so that you can appear pure and offer pure offering. That's why. And I say, let them sit in fair man. 
upon his head, so he set a fair man upon his head and quoted him with garments. The other garments were taken away, a new garment of holiness, righteousness, purity, love, humility, simplicity, and forgiveness and holiness was given to him. And immediately the army gathered with him and the angel of the Lord stood by him. It's no longer scaring angel because if he's still in Canada with that treaty, the angel will not attend to him. Are you here? Hear the same message, sister. In this year, 2023, you have been ministering in the choir. Whether you have been ministering in your corner, teachers and workers with fitty garments, please put away the fitty garments and be cleansed today by the blood of the Lamb. Open your heart, confess all your sins, whether they are secret or open. Open your heart and confess your sins and turn away from all that is necessary. In Proverbs 28 13 says that he that covereth his sins will not do what? Will not succeed. We are going to have what? Um, but he that confesses it and forsakes it and obtain mercy. So without it, brother, if you spend 40 days and 40 nights in prison, praying, and you know, heaven will be closed against you. Now we are preparing for 48 hours by the grace of God this weekend. If you are coming, make your heart ready. If you are coming, make sure that 50 garments are removed because the Lord said to Moses, in Exodus 19, said, Tell the children of Israel that within these three days they should change their garments, they should purify themselves, they should offer offerings and cleanse and sanctify themselves. Even he went further to say that even the married people should not come close to their spouse, that I'm going to appear unto them and they are going to appear before me, they will hear me directly. And that they did. And the Lord came down the mount. A signer and spoke to them with a thunder echoing from heaven and trumpets and a voice quaking that Moses said, I had that voice and I trembled. Why must you fear God? God is not a threat of any person. In Job 34, we read it last and 21 22, we say, There's no queer, no shadow, where the workers of iniquity will hide themselves and will know that I will not see them. In hell, I will see them because hell is naked before me. In destruction, I will see them because destruction naked cannot be covered. Also in the sea, I will see them because the sea will vomit everything. There's nowhere in the dark places in any country. All will be subject. He said, For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he sees all his going. There is no darkness, no shadow of death. Where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. This is what the Lord said. In faith in Jude chapter 1. Now, this is where my fear is. You know the great man called Moses. You know that great man called who? Called who? A man of wonder. A man that was so close to God that God revealed the history of creation to him. The mysteries of creation. A man was so close that he divided the race. A man that was so so loving and loved God, he forsook to be the king of Egypt. Because of love, he consecrated all. He gave up the world, gave up his position. But that man just one little anger. And that anger led to rebellion. And that rebellion lead that made him not to enter the promise. Look at what when he died. Satan was watching. As heaven was watching. Verse 9 of Jude is only one chapter. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the brother of whom? Moses. Trust not bringing against him what? A railing accusation. But said the Lord repeated. If you read the book of Numbers, I mean Deuteronomy 34, the Bible says Moses climbed the man's pescar and died there. God Himself buried him. Nobody knows his grave till now. But Satan went to the grave and said to Moses, Follow me to hellfire. 
and say to Moses, yeah, holy man, holy man, why are I don't capture you? Maybe under, I don't capture you. Maybe this is where you go. I don't know. Follow me now. God had to send Angel Michael in the angel of war. Came here and said, Satan. What I should say, it's my own. Oh. No rebellion go to heaven. I rebel, I will cast down. It's a rebel. It's a rebel. The Lord asked him to speak to the rock. He do what? It's my own. The devil was not afraid of the man that did the race. He was not afraid of the man that threw the foundation of Israel and rescued the people of Israel from the captivity of 400 years plus. The devil was not afraid of this man that prayed on fire for heaven. The devil came and said, You didn't know you did that not before. You did that not before. The pastor not before. The pastor not before. The pastor not before. Not before. Now, now, now. Took God, ever say God, and the repentance of Moses because he repented before he died. And the Lord said, You will not enter the physical promised land, but I will take you to the spiritual promised land. You are going to end well. And that was why Angel now said, Angel did not say, I rebuke you. He didn't use his name. He said, In the name of who? the Lord. And that Lord means Jesus. What did he do? He fled. And Moses was taken to glory. That was at the Mount of Transfiguration. When Jesus was to go to Calvary, Elijah and Moses came to strengthen him in Matthew 7. Meaning that Moses made it to heaven. So today, the devil is accusing I and you Bible said day and night. But let the accusation of devil help us to be to repent. Help us to live right. Help us because the more we march is given much of what? We march is given much is what? We march is given much is what? So no matter how much God has given you holiness, right, you expect more. Righteousness is expect more. Power is worth more. Grace is worth more. Everything is given to you. You are sweet more. And men also, you are committed certain in your hand. And that's why, even when you are sleeping, uh, sometimes they call me midnight. Even when I come back, they say, Gee, oh, somebody, somebody, I will wake up and start praying. But they don't call you. He much is given. So, brother, if you are thinking that you're holy, God wants to be more holy. If you are thinking you are righteous, God wants you to be more righteous. If you are thinking you are so winner, God wants you to be more. If you are thinking that you are, you are right with God, be more. If not, God is no respect of what? Any man. For he that has seen in the law shall judge by the law. And he has seen without knowing the law shall be also condemned without the law. For the law of God has been written in our conscience that even when we do not know the Bible, we do not know God. Our conscience keep on telling us what is good and uh, bad. So if you go to hell, because I know they go to church for me, I know they go to church. That is your choice. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So we're going to rise up now to pray. Before we pray, I ask you this question. That is grace. Let me say that is grace. Let me say that is grace. Let me say that is grace. The Lord says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, from 30, he says, If I lock up heaven, there is no rain. If I send locusts and pestilence to eat the land or devour the land, is the people, is the people, my own people, that are called by my name, shall humble themselves and shall seek my face and shall turn from all their wicked way. And when they turn to me, I will forgive them. I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. So this message. Is for you to go to God and say, God, I cannot hide it from you. Your eyes, seven, is watching me. Everything I'm saying against the pastor, against my husband, against my wife, against the church, against my landlord, against my neighbor, against people in the church, they are recorded. 
Every good thing I'm doing in the church, outside the church, is that correct? And one day, this book shall be open, and another book shall be open. Ah, everything we have done shall find us out whether it's good or bad. So all the tithes and all the offerings and all the labor of love you are doing now, all the sacrifice, all the you, you have this church in your mind, you are laboring and nobody commends you. God knows. One day He will reward you. Shall we rise up and say, Lord, I am your own. Sing that song because the song before. I am your own. From now to the time will come. 